All right, well, good evening again, and welcome back to the Fireside Chats. We started uh, this about two, and well, it's about two years ago, I guess, and it was started off in a robe and a house coat, and uh, I'm back to it, the Fireside Chats, a little different color, you know, passionate, garnet red. So, uh, welcome back. Now I'm going to try to impart to you a message, a tool, an instrument for your usage. Now you need to share this message with other friends, family, and maybe strangers. I don't know, just share because people out there are hurting and the hand of pain has touched them and they're hurting bad. Our country's in a mess, some of the personal circumstances are in a mess, and I know that you know that I understand that. So... Let's focus. Taste and see that I am good. The more intimately you experience me, the more convinced you become of my goodness. I am the living one who sees you and longs to participate in your life. I am training you to find me in each moment and to be a channel of my loving presence. Sometimes my blessings come to you in mysterious ways, through pain and trouble. At such times you can know my goodness only through your trust in me. Understanding will fail you, but trust will keep you close to me. I remember when I spoke a little bit on grief and the five stages of grief, and I was struggling. I was like, wait a minute. I mean, I can acknowledge my son's death, but I can't accept this. What am I going to do? I was wrong. I gave it to God. I 100% accepted it on steroids. It's His will. He's at peace. He's not suffering. He's with His mother right where He wanted to be. Thank me for the gift of my peace, a gift of such immense proportions that you cannot fathom its depth or breadth. When I appeared to my disciples after the resurrection, it was peace that I communicated first of all. I knew this was their deepest need, to calm their fears, clear their minds. I also speak peace to you, for I know your anxious thoughts, so listen to me, tune out other voices. So you can hear me more clearly. I design you to dwell in peace all day, every day. Draw near to me and receive my peace. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Psalms 34, 8. So she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her, the living one who sees me. Genesis 16, 13 to 14. On the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear. I mean, you know, several years ago when I was searching for my soul at Old Townley, I was breaking in part. I was like, you know, Lord, let me be free of fear. I don't want to be afraid of anything anymore. I don't remember that I was ever afraid of much. What's happened to me? And I was so afraid for my son's life. But not anymore. Not anymore. Peace be with you, John twenty nineteen. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful, Colossians 3.15. Sometimes all we need to do is surrender. Get rid of ourselves. Get ourselves out of the way. And then we can have peace. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. 
Amen. Listen to me. Egg buck. Everything is going to be okay. Good night.